Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how you can easily edit and color grade your outdoor images when it comes to Photoshop and we're going to be learning how you can do this from the start to the very end with no steps skipped and in case you want to download the raw image to follow along simply check the links in the description of this very video so after importing the raw image it is going to display in the camera raw filter so in the camera raw filter you just want to correct the lighting and contrast issues so you can start to have blown out highlights or hot spots in the model skin so I'll take the highlights down like that and do the same for the whites and open up the shadows of this very photo. Take the blacks down, add contrast to the image around, let's go with around 7 and open up the brightness of the image. So I'll take the highlights down rather. So after doing that, you can see before, after. So for the white balance, I'll simply slightly warm it up by taking up the temperature slider. And as you know, Warm images are very easy to color grade regarding skin tone. So I'll scroll down to my color mixer. And in color mixer, we have hue, saturation, and luminous. Basically, hue is changing a color. Saturation is the intensity of a color. Luminous is how bright or how dark you want a color to be. So for this case, I'll come to my greens and I make the greens look like a aquas by moving it towards the right hand side to make it pop. And I'll also do the same for the yellows to have it look like a green so that the subject can pop out of the background and these two colors are going to be complementing each other so I'll come the saturation and simply take down the saturation of the green slightly to slightly mute or reduce on the intensity of the greens in the background and I'll do the same for the yellow slightly so after doing that in order to make the image pop I'll come to my calibration right here and come to blue primary and take up the saturation slider of the blue primary to make the image pop a little bit more so you can see the before and after for just the calibration it is subtle but it really gets the job done so I'll just come and click on open <coughs> so that i can open the image in photoshop so in photoshop what i'm going to be doing is first of all doing the skin retouching so in order to do the skin retouching i'll simply come to the background layer and press ctrl j twice to create two copies and after that click on that name this two color and double click on that name to name it to texture sorry about this texture so after that i'm just going to come to the color layer turn off the texture layer simply come to filter blur come to gaussian blur and it's going to bring up the gaussian blur dialog window take the radius down and click on the skin area that has more textures and start taking up the radius slider and stop at the point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear from the image so for this case at about three pixels that is when i'm just starting to lose out on the details or the textures of the skin i'll click ok select the texture layer now activate it come to image apply image and the source is the name of the photo that you're editing layer come and select the color layer channel rgb blending is going to be add because we are editing a 16-bit image the scale is to offset zero and turn on the invert option in case you're editing an 8-bit image for your case make sure that the invert option is not turned on layer is set to color channel rgb blending has to be subtract the scale is to offset 128 and we'll have the gray color right here displaying with textures involved so for my case it is a 16-bit image so i'll revert the settings to 16-bit settings click ok change the blend mode from normal to linear light then select both layers by pressing ctrl or command then press ctrl g or you can press command g on the keyboard and open up the group select the color layer and turn off the texture layer so i'll come to the brushes right, right click and get the mixer brush tool so for every tool you select in photoshop the settings are always going to be on this top timeline so I'll just come and make sure clean brush is selected and the second option that says clean brush after each stroke is selected with a weight of 9%, load 75, mix at 90, flat 100%, make sure sample orders is not turned on. So what do I have to do? I want to blend the transitions while smoothening the skin. So I slightly zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use Command plus on the keyboard. So how to blend? You can increase or reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard. So how to blend? You simply left click and hold down and you brush. Left click, hold down and you brush. So you mix colors that are looking alike so that you can create a transition 
or you even the transition by blending those colors. So to blend a small area, you simply reduce on the size of the brush. And by the way, as you're doing all this, in case the, the mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon, press the caps lock on the keyboard to deactivate so that the mixer brush tool can display this circular icon like it is meant to be. So I'll mix the highlight alone on the chin area just like that. So the trick is blend the colors that are looking alike. So after blending a given color, you will use the left click button and left click once again on a brand new color to blend it. And while those colors are transitioning from one color to another, use a very small or tiny brush and you can blend that particular area so that it can create a smooth transition between uh, the colors. So I'll be doing this for the rest of the skin and you have to follow the way the face or the skin is flowing. So you can see the neck area. I'm moving the brush strokes in this up down kind of direction to keep and maintain the original shape of the model's body or face. So I'll just do this for the rest of the image. So command minus to zoom out so that I can edit faster. So I'll blend those mid tones and those shadows. So always make sure to retouch at a distance because this helps you edit your images faster and it helps you go through the process of blending quickly so that you don't spend a lot of time trying to edit or smoothen the skin. So I'm just going to blend right there and just come this other area of the hand and continue blending just like that. So I hope you can see the results right now. So I'll reduce on the size and slightly zoom in to blend on a smaller area. Reduce on the size of the brush completely and blend this area of the hand just like that by, by using a very small brush. So you can see that I'm blending every area I'm seeing uh, the skin inconsistencies or color inconsistencies regarding the skin tones. And I try to blend or even out those areas by smoothening them using my mixer brush tool. So I'm just going to come the lower part of the body. And for the legs, I'll just blend just like that. So skin retouching is basically this nice and simple. But don't mind, we're going to go into the second technique. That is color grading and having even skin tones. Remember, most photographers really don't understand the concept of color grading. And I'll show you how you can easily do this in Photoshop. So I'm just going to reduce on the size and blend right here between these tiny straps just like that. So by just doing this, you can see that we have been able to smoothen the skin and the skin now looks very smooth. So turn on the texture layer and identify the areas that you have not worked on. Command minus to zoom out. So now that we have blended the skin tones or the skin color and we have smoothened the skin, just come to the texture layer, come and get the, the clone stamp tool. The mode is set to normal or past in the flat 100%. Align this check and the sample is set to current layer. We have to zoom in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use Command plus on the keyboard to remove the pimples or blemishes. So to increase or reduce on the size of the clone stamp tool, you can use the square bracket keys on the keyboard. So to remove a pimple, for example, this one, hold down the option key on the keyboard or hold down the alternate key on the, on the keyboard and left click on a clean area near the pimple and release the option key on the keyboard and left click once again to replace the pimple with clean skin so you have to keep on sampling while pressing the alternate key on the keyboard because these pimples are located in different areas that usually don't have the same color so that is why you have to keep on sampling from different areas so i'm just going to be coming and i do this for the rest of the pimples or blemishes in this very model skin so I'll just be doing this quickly. So you have to keep on sampling and painting just like that. So now that I've finished or completed the process of removing pimples or blemishes, I'll press Ctrl minus. So it is time to do our next color grading step. That is, you can see before and after for the skin retouching. So in order to do color grading, we're going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing Shift, Option, Command E on the keyboard for Mac. Then for Windows, it is Shift, alternate control e on the keyboard so after that i'm just going to come select and come to subject so that photoshop can automatically select the subject for me 
So after Photoshop has selected the subject for me, you can see it has done a pretty nice selection. I'll just come to the empty layer icon and click on it. Change the empty layer blend mode from normal to color. Then I'll come to the brushes, right click and get the, the, the normal brush tool this time around. Right click on the brushes, get the normal brush tool. For the settings, soft round brush is selected. The mode is normal. Opacity in the flat 100%. I'll just zoom into the image by using Ctrl or you can press Command plus on the keyboard. So what do I want to do? I just want to sample color on the skin that I want the rest of the skin of the subject to look like so. I'll hold down the Option key on the keyboard and sample a color on the skin. So I'm just, I just want to sample a color that I want the rest of the model skin to look like so. Option and left click to sample. I'll sample a mid-tone color. And when I'm done sampling, I'll just come and start painting over the skin. So take your time as you're doing this because at the end of the day, you don't want to change or distort the original makeup that was applied. So keep away from painting on the eyebrows, the lipstick, the eyeshadow, and other areas where the makeup was applied initially for your model. So just do that. Paint quickly. So I'll go through this process quickly and faster so that I don't take a long time trying to explain each and everything so i'll just paint make sure you paint on each every area that has or contains skin tones in your image or in your photo so you can see by just doing this the skin is now turning to look better and the color of the skin is now looking uniform so take your time as you're doing this process because you don't want to leave out in areas that have or contain skin color or skin tone so i'll just paint on the fingers just like that just like that i hope you can see the effect in this case so in case you have painted on the outfit and you, you are not meant to paint on the outfit i'll show you later on how you can correct or rectify that kind of mistake so i'm just going to paint on the fingers on the hands just like that so I hope you can see how the skin is now turning to look better and more uniform or have a uniform color. So I'll use a very small brush and paint just in between these tiny straps just like that. So the, tr the information here is paint on every area. So you have to keep on playing around with different sizes of the brush to have the flexibility to paint on the areas that have or contain skin color or skin tones. So just like that. So after painting and you feel like you have made an error painting on areas that you're not meant to paint in the first place, get the eraser tool. The mode is set to brush or pass in the flat 100%. So with this done, you can now come and with the eraser, rub and erase the effect from her outfit. So just like that. So I hope you can see this. So in case I've painted on some areas like the makeup, you can even erase it from the makeup areas of uh, the model or the subject so i just erase it from her outfit in this case so i hope you can see how beautiful this is so this can be a little bit overdone so we're just going to come the opacity and reduce on the opacity so that it can look better and a little bit more realistic so we shall go with around negative uh 73 percent and press ctrl d or command d to deactivate the active selection so after you have done that it is time to fine tune the colors in the skin tone come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and simply target the reds and come to the lightness and take down the lightness so that the effect can look a little bit natural and a little bit more realistic then you're going to come and create a color balance adjustment layer then come and target the mid-tones and add a tiny bit of green color to our mid-tones to around 3. 3 looks okay to eliminate the reds, especially within the skin tone. So let's go with around 4. Then you're going to come and create one black and white adjustment layer and change the blend mode from normal to multiply and reduce on the opacity basically just like that. So let's create one final adjustment layer that is the selective color adjustment layer and target the blacks and take up the sand slide of the blacks to slightly make the greens in the background pop 
Then you can even as well come and target the greens and play around with the magentas to see what will work best for us. So I feel like a darker kind of green is going to be better. And let me see how the yellow color is going to be affecting this. So I feel like this shade of green is a little bit better. Yeah, I'll lean it towards the blue side. So I feel like this is okay. And you can even brighten the greens or darken the greens depending on what you want. So I'll just brighten up the greens slightly. So this is what we have been able to achieve in this case. So in case you feel like the, you still have more reds within the skin tone, you can come back to the color balance. Double click on this icon and you can increase on the greens slightly within the skin tone. And you can even cool down the image by adding a little bit of blues to the skin tone. And you can come to the highlights and you add maybe a cyan fill to our highlights too remove the magentas especially within the model's skin tone just like that so you can see what we have been able to achieve so let's do a little bit of eye whitening to the subject is eyes so just come adjustments create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come to master and simply take down the saturation to around negative 76 then press ctrl i or you can press command i on the keyboard come and get the normal brush tool so this is the normal brush tool Make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. In case you have any other color apart from black and white, you can press these tiny squares or you can press D on the keyboard. So with white as the foreground color, you can now zoom in by using Ctrl plus or you can use Command plus on the keyboard. Reduce on the size of the brush and you can do or use this method for eye and teeth whitening. So paint on only what you feel should be white in the model or subject is eyes just like that. I think this is okay. This is perfect. And we have a beautifully edited image at the end of this all. So what are we going to do after editing? The next step after editing is always saving the image. So in order to save this very image, you're simply going to come to file, export and come to export as. And after coming to export as, you can come to file settings, make sure the format is set to JPEG quite it set to the maximum which is seven for this case the resample is set to by cubic sharper and scroll down to where you see color space and make sure these two are checked convert to srgb and embed color profile have been checked and click on export and you can save or export the photo in whatever location that you choose so this is how you can edit and color grade in photoshop from the start to the very end and in case you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been or you have found value out of this video ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating